with the addition of machine learning and artificial intelligence, this isn't your father's ERP. I'm Tanya Hall for Tech Republic, and joining me is Evo Totev. He is the Chief Marketing Officer for Cloud ERP at SAP. Welcome, Evo. Hi, Tanya. Pleasure to be speaking to you. So most people recognize SAP as a leading provider of enterprise application software. Explain SAP Cloud ERP. Uh, it's my pleasure. So SAP is the clear number one in the ERP market. SAP invented ERP some 40 years back. And it's a very exciting time because we are now entering a new era, a new generation of ERP, where um, the solutions are provided through the cloud and where the solutions become more and more intelligent and you know artificial intelligence is a key topic uh, which i would love to talk uh, with you about today what role does machine learning and artificial intelligence play in the digital transformation of erp so when you look at the traditional erp uh, customers had to put a lot of data into forms and that data got stored in traditional uh, relational databases and then uh, looking backwards or looking at data which was two weeks, four weeks, two years old, uh, customers were trying to get some reports, some analytics to understand where business is going. And as you can imagine, uh, this is a very cumbersome process. It requires a lot of resources. And what we see today is that the new generation of ERP um, has artificial intelligence and machine learning particularly embedded. So many of the manual processes simply get eliminated because machines are very good at doing certain tasks uh, where we you know, used um, human labor before. And with SAP, we believe that uh, humans should um, do more high value tasks. They should uh, take care about customers. They should uh, be engaged in creative processes. Uh, but everything that is repetitive uh, really should be done by machines because machines are much, much better in many of those uh, tasks. You uh, recently released a survey about artificial intelligence. What did you learn? So what we did is we reached out to more than 2,500 uh, executives throughout the world. So US, UK, France, Germany, uh, Australia, just to name a few countries. And so statistically, this is a sound number. And it was interesting to learn that 90% of the executives uh, are already actively looking at artificial intelligence and what that can do to the business. 60% out of the 2,500 are already considering and having plans how to introduce artificial intelligence and machine learning into the business. And 30% out of the 2,500 have plans to invest somewhere between half a million and five million uh, within the next 12 months. So I must say uh, this is very encouraging and this is eye-opening to see that AI has reached already a maturity where we're not just talking about it, uh, but where companies are taking money, investing into it to make it work. Enterprise resource planning is a generic term. What functions are included in that? So customers who look for enterprise resource planning are looking for financial solutions um, to really you know, uh, know about the finance situation of the company, uh, profit, uh, loss, where to invest, and, and so on and so forth, free cash flow. Uh, customers are looking to manage uh, their uh, talent, so human resources, uh, people engagement uh, solutions are very high on the list. And then last but not least, engaging with customers. Uh, this all falls into the realm of enterprise resource planning. How do your customers benefit with cloud ERP as it relates to machine learning and AI? I mean, what are some of the use cases? Well, here's the um, very important point. Um, so many uh, top-notch companies and organizations started with artificial intelligence projects some years ago. And utilizing artificial intelligence uh, was reserved for the top notch who could afford the data scientists, the very smart people who can help them with the algorithms and bring that to the business. 
Now for us, it is important that we democratize the usage of artificial intelligence. So we free our customers to have to build their own infrastructure, their own technology stack, their own use cases by applying artificial intelligence into the core solutions which thousands of customers use around the world. So our secret sauce is that we take artificial intelligence and we bake it into our solutions. And sometimes the customers even don't know they're using artificial intelligence, it's just there. Um, it simply automates certain tasks. And so instead of uh, towards the end of my financial period, let's say months end, instead of having to match invoices to payments manually, the system automatically does that and it's done. And uh, this is the exciting part. So we are really bringing AI to the masses and sometimes customers will enjoy the benefits of AI without even knowing they're using it. Uh, they probably will know if they compare to uh, other older systems or to previous versions of our software. They will notice how much easier things flow and how much less steps are involved to get the job done. Uh, but that's about it. How do you expect artificial intelligence will change your business over the next few years? Um, well, when I look at our business, we invest um, huge amounts of, of funds and development resources into artificial intelligence. Uh, so at Sapphire, our annual user conference, which took place last year, uh, sorry, last week in Orlando, Florida, uh, we announced that we are going to have a new uh, AI lab uh, in Southern California. So, so we're making huge investments on artificial intelligence um, throughout the world. This is just yet another office where we're building these resources to really make sure that we automate 50% of all manual tasks in an ERP for artificial intelligence. That's a huge goal and we have promised that to our customers and we are embarking on the journey for the next three years. So this is huge investment and huge change of the way we develop and we deliver our software. For our customers, definitely artificial intelligence will change the business in several different ways. First of all, some customers will uncover that because their financial back office functions are now being vastly automated, they now can afford to repurpose and ret retrain employees to not work in the back office uh, but really engage more with customers, so really add more value to the company's operations. When you look at marketing organizations, artificial intelligence will help marketers, and I can talk to the topics since that's you know, my job. Um, artificial intelligence will help marketers uh, to do, for example, lead scoring in a much better way to really sense which prospects are more likely to buy than others, as one example. When you look at websites, websites will become so much more personalized and interactive based on artificial intelligence. No human can work on all the customer journeys which are potentially out there. However, artificial intelligence will help us to learn what our customers and prospects want uh, and how to present that information to them. So that's another example uh, in, of the world of marketing. When you look into the financial world, we see a lot of projects going on, for example, for fraud detection. Um, where payment streams are being monitored in real time and fraud is being detected on the spot. So these are all great examples, and I could go on and on and on, where artificial intelligence really helps. What are the attributes of a business that suggests they're actually ready for artificial intelligence-powered cloud ERP? As I said before, uh, probably a year ago, uh, we would have talked about the top-notch, most mature organizations who have a great brand, who can attract the greatest talent uh, of data, uh, data scientists, mathematicians to really build out the AI strategy. Uh, with bringing AI to the masses, to all our customers, about building that into the product, so you know, thousands of thousands of customers worldwide run SAP systems, they will benefit from, from that development. So it is not about anymore how mature is a company to use AI. AI is coming out of the box and creates value instantly. Evo, I really appreciate your time and shedding some light on artificial intelligence and the world of ERP, cloud ERP. If somebody wants to connect with you, how can they do that? Uh, so the best way would be through Twitter, at TOTEV, T-O-T-E-V.
um, it would be a pleasure to, to connect and uh, continue the discussion. Absolutely. Well, thanks again for joining us. And if you guys want to follow more of my interviews, you can. You can do that right here on Tech Republic or ZDNet. Or maybe find me on social media by going to my website. I'm at tanyahall.net. I've got links to LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. In fact, if you want to chat or if you have questions, I'd love to hear from you. Find me on Twitter at, at Tanya Hall Radio. Thanks for watching.